So does being a great player always guarantee success and trophies? That does not necessarily apply in the world of American sporting, where there can only be one winner each season. It's easy to uncover a slew of elite basketball talents that never went on to win the NBA championship, with some never even making it to the championship finals. Stay tuned as we list some of such players in the NBA and the reasons behind them. Vince Carter is first on our list. Carter had a tremendous 22-year NBA career spanning four decades, although he never won an NBA championship during his playing days. Later in his career, Carter chose to join the Sacramento Kings and the Atlanta Hawks rather than a challenger, ring-chasing club in order to spend more time on the bench. Carter never even made it to the finals, which is required to win a championship. He came the closest to winning a championship in 2010, when he and the Orlando Magic fell in six games to the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Following that, we have John Stockton. Stockton finished his career with the most assists of any player in NBA history, leading the league in assists nine times. His achievements will be remembered for many years to come. One had to wonder whether he would give up all of his assist crowns in return for one NBA championship ring. While still playing with the Jazz, he had two chances to win a championship in 1997 and 1998 but the Chicago Bulls won both times. The Bulls eliminated the Jazz from the playoffs with a game-winning jumper in Game 6 of the series in 1998, which was possibly the most painful defeat. If Utah had won that game, the series would have gone to a deciding seventh game, when anything might happen. Ultimately, despite the fact that Stockton never won a championship, the Jazz were always a title contender while he was on the club. Following that, we have Charles Barkley. He has been chosen into the All-Star squad 11 times and was awarded MVP once. Barkley was a true one-of-a-kind power forward. He led the Phoenix Suns to a 62-20 record and averaged 25.6 points per game in 1992 to 1993. Despite his team's loss to Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls in the NBA Finals, he was awarded league MVP. Because of the Houston Rockets' domination in the Western Conference during the 1994 and 1990 five seasons. This was his sole playoff appearance. So the fourth player on our list is Iverson Allen. Iverson had his best season in 2000 to 2001 when he guided an unremarkable Philadelphia 76ers team to the NBA Finals and was named league MVP despite losing in five games to the eventual champion Los Angeles Lakers. To be honest, simply winning one game against that all-star Lakers team was a great accomplishment. I Iverson averaged 35.6 points per game in the finals after scoring 48 points in game one. Despite never winning a title, the 11-time All-Star will be recognized as one of the NBA's most renowned players. Moving on, Steve Nash. Despite being named to the All-NBA First Team three times and earning MVP twice, Steve Nash only made it to the finals once in his career and never won an NBA championship. Nash reached the conference finals many times, but he was never able to go any farther. When Nash signed with the Lakers in 2012, there was some late career ring chasing, but despite Sports Illustrator's forecast that his time in Los Angeles would be joyful, he eventually spent his last two seasons there dissatisfied. Following that, Reggie Miller. Miller, a player recognized for his steady shooting, was defeated in his sole appearance in the NBA Finals against the Lakers in 2000. Miller and the Indiana Pacers were a dangerous dangerous rival for the Bulls in 1998, but the Bulls won Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals by a 5-point margin. He spent his whole 18-year career in Indiana, where he had the chance to win a title in either 2004 or 2005. Unfortunately, the Indiana Pacers fell short of the Detroit Pistons, and the malice at the Palace didn't help things either. The Indiana Pacers have never won an NBA championship as a team. Reggie Miller is largely regarded as as one of the finest players in NBA history during a career in which he averaged 27.4 points per game and 13.5 rebounds per game. Despite making it to the final round seven times, Baylor did not win a single final series throughout his entire career. He won 16 of the 44 games he appeared in, with a final scoring average of 26.4 points per game, and presently holds the NBA record for most points, 61, scored in an NBA Finals game. 
game. Peter Maravich is up next. Pistol Pete was generally regarded as the league's best shooter during his playing days, placing him decades ahead of his peers. The three-point line was initially utilized in the NBA in 1979, one year before Maravich's retirement. Maravich reached the playoffs four times throughout his 10-year career, but he never moved beyond the first round. While playing with the Boston Celtics, he was ousted in five games by the Philadelphia 76ers in the Eastern Conference Finals. He had to retire sooner than intended because of knee issues, but he concluded his career with 658 games played and a scoring average of 24.2 points per game. Patrick Ewing comes after that. Ewing was a dominant center who was equally effective on both the offensive and defensive sides of the floor. Throughout his career, he averaged 21 points per game, 9.8 rebounds per game, and 2.4 blocks per game. The famous New York Knicks star only made it to the NBA Finals once in his career, losing in seven games against Olajuwon and the Rockets. They were beaten in Game 7 because their guard, John Starks, shot a dismal 2 for 18 from the field and missed all 11 three-point attempts. Now, Dominique Wilkins. Wilkins is another name on this list who never made it to the finals. In fact, Wilkins was never able to go beyond the conference semifinals in his career, making him probably the best player who was never able to play in a conference final. Wilkins was an electrifying athlete who attracted onlookers with his incredible dunking abilities. He was a nine-time All-Star with a point-per-game average of close to 25. The future Hall of Famer spent the previous 12 years with the Hawks before moving on to the Los Angeles Clippers, Boston Celtics, San Antonio Spurs, and Orlando Magic. Tracy McGrady is up next. McGrady had seven straight playoff appearances with the Raptors, Magic, and Rockets, but was eliminated in the first round each time. Despite the fact that McGrady was a fantastic player and a scoring champion, his teams never advanced very far in the playoffs. McGrady was a bench player in his lone NBA Finals appearance. He sat right at the end of the bench. McGrady made his first participation in an NBA Finals game in 2013. He was a non-factor in any form, despite just playing 13 minutes throughout the series. One of the games ended in a 19-point loss, while the other ended in a 36-point triumph. It was also around this time when McGrady made his first appearance in the conference finals. Following that is Reggie Miller. There was one individual who came so close to winning, but they simply couldn't do it. You may blame the other guys in the league if you want, but Miller had many opportunities. Miller was never able to get beyond the conference semifinals. The Knicks won the series in 1994, while the Magic won the series in 1995. The Indiana Pacers almost defeated Michael Jordan's Bulls in seven games in 1998, but the Pacers eventually fell short. In the end, the Pacers qualified for the NBA Finals. Miller played in the NBA Finals for the first time and never did so again. In a best of seven series, the Lakers defeated the Pacers. Miller was given a second chance in 2004, but the Pistons won the conference finals in six games to win the title. Carmelo Anthony is the last NBA player on our list. When we look back on Anthony's career, we will remember him being picked for the All-Star Game, winning scoring titles, and being a member of all NBA teams. For the greater part of a decade, he was a scoring machine for the Nuggets and the Knicks. When you look at his playoff record, you'll see that it's not really outstanding. Anthony has only played in the conference finals once, but has never participated in the NBA Finals. That game occurred between the Nuggets and the Lakers in 2009, but Bryant got the last laugh and went on to win a championship with the Lakers. Carmelo Anthony has only been in the second round once since then, with the New York Knicks in 2013. That brings us to the conclusion of our script for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to press the subscribe button on your way out. Thank you for your time.